Got the up being killed. The worst case scenario, since you're still on the platform, that up smash will end your stock even earlier. If you're gonna take a hit, just take the up B. Go, go off the platform, take the up B. But don't DI in. That's a regrab, but Helper likes. To, oh, yeah, Helper will do that. If he has to regrab his DD, he'll just come on stage. Consequences yeah. be damned. Most of the time, it feels like DD can get back to the like Legend. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, for real. DD can get back to like Legend stage without much issue. It's getting off ledge that's always the problem. Oh, going for it all, oh, man. Uh, I'm surprised Helper is using uh, DDD. This is the second uh, match today we've seen him use DDD. Helper. He's having fun? He's yeah. been wanting something to cover up his Sora matchups. DDD is the obvious choice here. Okay. Yeah. He's been playing the character for, oh good, for a good while. Yeah, yeah there's a Ooh. reason why I say that Helper plays every character like DDD. Okay, this yeah, is that, the original that, main, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Way original. Interesting, interesting. All right. Oh, oh man, Ooh, I could have the been. jump was just in the nick of time. Does down? No, no. Needed to be charged hard if you wanted to kill her, but finds Divine Whip. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is this a bad matchup for Sora? No. no. Helper just wants to play DD because oh, he's, okay. he's just putting practice in with... He, DDD. He thought it wasn't enough to play one extremely annoying character. Yeah. No, you know, Sora is quite... I mean, the, you should be dual maining if you're not playing one of the top three to five characters. Or a Wii Fit Trainer. You should be dual maining if you're not maining one yeah. of the top three to five characters. <laughs> really? <laughs> top three to five? Yes. Anything lower, you have to dual main? I, if you are trying to find consistent success, yes. Okay. Granted, at locals, you can play whoever you want and find success. Okay. But like, if you're trying to win S tier events, I firmly believe that you should be playing, if you're not playing like Steve, Rob, Game & Watch, Sonic, yeah. and maybe one or two more, then you should be playing um, I, two characters. I think the top tiers in this game are actually you know, quite good. I think, yeah, they are. I think like most of them are pretty good. Yeah, but like I would consider like Palutena, oh, please don't get hit by this. Oh, oh my nah. <laughs> Not like that, bro. <laughs> Why'd you do him like that? Why'd you do him like that? Why'd you send him to Jersey with that I move? Can't. <laughs> Why did you send him to Jersey? Let's go. Let's uh. go back to station. One. Stop 
Battle. King TDD Pokemon Trainer. Oh, 20, Once, yeah. Oh, 20, 20, yes. We get to see Helper against Luis. Taking a troll instant. Just instant deed Gordo on Roundstar, then a couple up tilts. He does have some like some decent fights. Like up tilt's pretty good. Four tilt's alright. Gordo can be annoying. Um, inhale's like decent for landing. It's like he's got some stuff. But it's just not it doesn't come together very well. Let's see. Uh, so, Rockin' to respond, um, I'm not sure DDD has many winning matchups, if any. Uh, I, I personally think this character's not good at all, <laughs> but, you know, to each their own. Like, every character in Smash Ultimate has something to do, so that's the, that's the benefit of just playing Lots any character in this game. And why you're able to find success at a local to regional level with any character, because everyone has a game plan. It's just like overall, DDD's game plan is much more concise. Like he wants to put you on ledge, and his neutral is not so good that he can get around, get you on ledge reliably and consistently. Okay. Yeah. Like DDD's biggest strength is his survivability, but so many characters are able to put you in a vortex to 140, and I mean, sure, you can live to 160, but are, are you, do you feel good about living to 160 every time? Like, not unless you have something explosive to go with your kit, of which DDD doesn't really have that. He doesn't have, like, a flying slam if you're Bowser, or a Charizard up smash, or Flare Blitz, or whatever you want with Charizard. Like, he doesn't have that same explosive potential. Like, back air. Back is pretty good. I don't know. Character theory is interesting. He is bringing this back. Yeah, he's working, he's working on a comeback. Oh, the upper. I want to see more Nair come out from loose. Like, just cover space. Like, that's what Ivysaur does best against slower characters. And, like, you don't typically get to play against a character as slow as Ivysaur, so when you do, like, make the most of it. But let me see these back airs. Let me see these nares. Like, apply the pressure. He's gonna have to switch to Charizard quite soon. Probably, yeah. Ooh, risked it all. Oh. All right, there's the swap over to Charizard. Takes the hit from the Gordo, feeling no problem. Flare Blitz is high. Okay. Oh, that could have been it, but unfortunately, did not get the hit. Alright, right, the Forder comes down. The swap over to Ivysaur. That's a ton of damage. The down tilt comes down. I, I feel like we gotta pivot off of I, Ivysaur is doing really solid in long standing neutral. Oh, the down air was there. Like, but just the ledge trapping is not there. And like down air is Ivysaur down air is not an answer against DDD's uh, super uh, super. Jump. So yeah, like Charizard sitting here threatening forward air, threatening forward tilt. Oh, forward no. smash was greedy though. Needed just to up smash there. All right, triple jump over and getting caught by another Gordo. No. Oh no, the Gordo odd. This is this is looking quite grim if I'm being honest. Okay, that's the up smash rip. It is possible, but... Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Back throw. You, Didi does not have any con any throw confirms. Down. Uh, finds a neutral air. Might be threatening down air. Chooses to play for grab instead. And hey, Helper yeah. commits to the anti-airs. But, but I like that from Helper, though. He did the pivot. It was a slow pivot. Uh, but he did pivot up tilt because it up tilt starts behind and hits lower. So he's trying to pressure shield and catch jumps out of the corner. Very nice. Oh, let's go to 21.